Hey folks, how are you doing? So as you see, I did a lot of work today. Now obviously, not, not it wasn't start from start to finish work. Uh, I had a lot of these blanks pre-ground already. I grounded the Warney, I, I think a week ago. I grounded, pretty much everything was grounded before. So today was just a handle, finishing, edges, kydex sheets. All the, all, the, all the grinds were already you know, on the blades from before, I think I did four yesterday and then before, you know, I just like always try to do as much as I can and then it, even if it, I don't get get to finish it, put it on the side and then when I feel like, you know, finishing that certain thing, because everything is involved in certain different way, you know, different processes, different different systems, so whatever works for me, that's, that's how I work. So, you seen the warning, no, you seen the before, but this is, Hopefully this time I did it right and it's for my buddy Brian B. Dunn. He wants I think for his wife and it came out pretty sweet. It's not perfect, perfect. It's really hard to do those lines really, really perfect with the really thin grinds that I do. Because uh, I think if I remember right, he said that it's, it's gonna be for a kitchen. For some reason he'll, he has one of my warnings and he loves using it in the kitchen. So. If you remember, this should be for his wife, nice and slim, a nicely contoured handle. This is that 670 carbon fiber, you see some kind of like a fancy front up there. And uh, it's pretty nasty, pretty nasty worn cliff. There's some swedges up front, there is one up there and then there is like, a, you know, chamfered corners here. Pretty sweet, horizontal grind lines, vertical grind lines, everything. I did just a nice simple fold over sheet, but it still could be carried easily. Uh, this one I'll leave for the end. This one I think is gonna go to the static, I think it's static 52552, five, something like that. The guy owner of this house, knife. Because I did say that since he has, he did mention something about a knife, now small EDC booby with the wood handle. And since he has this and I'm gonna be shipping it, I said, you know what, might as well do it and uh, if he wants it, he can buy this knife. Just trying to do it at the same time, so I, I save on the shipping and packing and he does too. So, this was, you've seen this one yesterday, the blade. This one got the Paduk wood with G10, black G10 liners. Padug is uh, cut cross grain, so it has that really cool finish. You've seen this, you've seen me do this many times. It's that it looks like it's book matched. See those scales look like they're book matched. It's kind of hard to show here, but pretty nice. It has that kind of satin finish with a little bit of stone wash on it. I left it there. Nice reinforced tip and really nice fine grind here. Convex grind knocked off the edges on the top, on the, you see it there, kind of chamfered it. Has uh, that graphite kydex shade, I, I think it works good, like it works together good, the color wise. Comes with the clip, shade flies out, like most of the time. I like this EDC buoy. Somebody asked if uh, the EDC bo the buoys have, uh, it's, if it's different blend. No, it's actually, I do it all by hand. I have only one, two, three, four. I have the T-Rex, EDC, Warney, and uh, and the I had the Barong, but the main main three right now are the Warncliffe, EDC, and uh, T-Rex. And all those knives, if these two, all the large ones are from the T-Rex. They are shaped, you know, afterwards. So and the uh, same with this EDC can be shaped into the buoy. I, sh I shaped it into the Tanto. I shaped it into the Warncliffe. I did all different things with this, so it's all, they are all shaped, you know, like afterwards I just reshape the blank and then finish the knife. So that's that one. This one will go to the gear bastion, just nice and simple. Today I actually try to do stuff simpler, so that's why you see regular style kydex shades, no, not, uh, not to take apart. Stonewash, orange, bead blasted, pretty cool, reinforced tip can see that the nice big convex bevel up front and look how smaller it gets towards the front that you barely even see that that bevel so we have really nice cutting geometry here 
nice and strong reinforced hip up front. This one has the grey kydex. Again, I, I, I thought that it works well together, grey with orange. Next one is also regular EDC, also just stone wash, toxic green and black. I really like this, it looks pretty cool, this handle, I think. Uh, it has that nice toxic green eye on both sides. Convex grind, full high convex, stone wash. Again, just nice simple Kydex shade. Wanted to do them a little simpler, a little cheaper because last couple of them between uh, between the materials and uh, the shades they they came up pretty pretty expensive. I want to do works again a little bit cheaper, just a couple dollars, but still at least something. Next one is also Boo Boo EDC. I like this one a lot. T Tiger stripe, orange and black. Also nicely bead blasted. Really nice texture to it. This one is side and finish. And again, nice and reinforced tip slightly, and very good. You know, cutting geometry down here. This one is flat, actually. This is not convex arm, it's flat with the convex bevel. Secondary bevel. Graphite kydex clip. This one I like a lot. This is first time I work with the uh, Tertuff. Tertuff sent to me by Colin. He just he just purchased a set of scale and sent it to me to try. And I had it. I've been saving it for a larger knife, but I just uh, I just wanted to do it, and so I did it on this. It's a buoy, you know, T-Rex buoy, and that Teratov blue. I think me personally, I love it. It's such a like such a cool blue. It's really like mesmerizing blue. I think it has a very very nice feeling. It does attract dirt, so it's gonna get dirty probably pretty easy. But it's actually very easy to clean it just with WD-40. But it has a very good feeling, you know, in the hand. It's nice to work with, sends really nice, it has a feeling of my carta, but it works like a G10, actually even easier than G10. So you have nice stone wash blade, buoy, you have the little flats that are pretty even on both sides. But overall I just I like it a lot this one. I think Aaron from practically every day showed interest in this one. So blue kydex I went with it. That inside the way has been loop, leather loop. And the last one, my favorite today, I really dig this. And I know everybody's gonna say I should have do a compound ground on this, but it's just not my thing. For, main, mainly, first thing, I'm not that good to pull off a comp, uh, you know, nightmare grind, compound grind. And secondly, which kinda is important for the way I do knives, I do knives for purpose and compound grind is really just a show off grind it's not really a purpose it's actually against purpose because when you're cutting through something your material gets stuck on the different you know grind so it really is just to show off the knife making skills and I don't have those yet maybe I will try one day but not yet so T-Rex buoy is actually buoy recurve recurve buoy and uh, I just love how it came out. Let me show you here on that black black ground, that really cool profile of it. I love how it came out. So we have the slight little recurve here on the bottom. It's not big, it's just slight little hint. And then you have that really nice belly up front. And you know that buoy, the triple little scallops or whatever you would call it. Really, really love how this one came out. And this one has a special carbon fiber that is that uh, F116, F117, that uh, it's really, really dense carbon fiber, super, super dense. Uh, a lot denser than even the 670. It's very hard to cut and pretty hard to grind and super hard to drill actually. So this one won't be cheap. I don't have much of it and it's pretty rare carbon fiber. And I just love how this one came out. I would actually love to keep this one, but and uh, this is no point. Uh, uh, I'm gonna pass it on, but like it, nice and slim handle, not not too too slim, nice and comfortable, but you know nothing bulky, so it won't really print a lot. Razor razor sharp, still very good cutting geometry, and uh, just nasty, nasty blade. I I think it's nasty. I <laughs> just for some reason, I just love how it looks. It's I think it's cool, and it has that. This one I did do to take apart shit because I knew that this is gonna be not a cheap cheap knife. It's gonna be nice, nice, you know, kind of higher end. 
consider because of the handle material that's that's very expensive carbon fiber so I did the skull on one side and uh, carbon fiber on the other side so we have kind of like two things whatever you feel like so guys hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think uh, most of these are going to gear bastion so keep an eye out for in, for them there hope you enjoyed it guys thanks for watching thanks for all the support take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself